So you want to know about dividing rationals. I actually had another call earlier that was about um, multiplying rationals. And I'm going to tell you the same thing I told them, and that is that this is actually three questions in one. Um, dividing rational numbers means that you're either dividing fractions or you're dividing decimals or you're dividing positive or negative numbers. Those are really sort of the three different types of, of processes involved in dividing rationals. Uh, if you're dividing fractions, all you need to do is take the fractions that you're given. Say we have 1 half divided by 4 fifths. Take the fractions that you're given and invert the second fraction. Just flip it over. Put the bottom number on the top and the top number on the bottom. And then multiply straight across. So now we have 1 times 5, that's 5. And 2 times 4, that's 8. So 1 half divided by 4 fifths is 5 eighths. And we find that out by flipping over the second fraction and multiplying straight across. Let's try another one. 3 sevenths divided by 2 thirds. So our first step is to invert our second fraction. We get 3 halves. And then we'll get rid of this one so don't get confused, yeah? So 3 times 3 is 9, multiplying straight across. 7 times 2 is 14. So now we have 3 sevenths divided by 2 thirds is 9 fourteenths. Now to divide decimals, um, particularly if it's something where you need to worry about the long division, um, let's say we have 127.2 uh, divided by um, 2.38. The trick to, to dividing something like this is to put the number on the outside without the decimal points anymore and see how many points you have to move it over to get rid of them. So our 2.38 becomes 238, and we made that into that whole number without the decimal by moving over two places. So we want to move this number over by two places also. And since I ran out of numbers, I'll put a zero in the blank. So the number I put underneath then is 1, 2, 7, 2, 0, and then the decimal point. Then I move the decimal point straight up into my answer, and I divide like I would with any other long division. So the trick is take the take the number that you're being that's you know being divided into the other number the number the the divisor I always forget these terms sorry about that but the number that goes outside get rid of the decimal then however many places you move that decimal point over move them over on the other number as well and move it straight up into the answer and then finally to divide positive or negative numbers we use the same rule we did for multiplication and that is that an odd number of negatives is a negative answer. You can remember that by thinking that, generally speaking, if someone says that you're odd, you would consider that a negative comment. So being odd is coincides with being negative. Now, not everybody does. Some people like being odd. But generally speaking, odd is considered a negative comment. Um, and then that means then, obviously, if you have an even number of negative signs, um, the answer is going to be even. And we can see one. We'll do a quick example of that. Uh, for instance, if we had um, negative 15 divided by 3, well, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and we had one negative symbol, that's an odd number, so our answer is negative 5. So again, just like we did with the multiplication, ignore those negative signs at the beginning. No matter how many there are, just don't even worry about them. Do the math, then go back and count the negatives. If there's an odd number, your answer is negative. If there's an even number, negative 20 divided by negative 4, yeah, 5 again, but now we have two negative signs. That's an even number, so the answer is positive.